Consider the following graph of the function y equals mx plus b. Which of the following options is true in regard to this graph? Answer choice A says function A, y equals negative 1 half x plus 2, has the same slope and the same interception point with the y axis. Well, the interception point is correct. Our b value here is positive 2, and our we intersect the y axis at y equals positive 2 in our original function. But what we don't know is if the slopes are the same. So let's find the slope of our original function and compare. And to do that, we'll need to pick two points. I'll pick a 0 comma 2, and I will pick negative 2 comma negative 2. And we'll plug that into y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1, our slope formula. Let's use this coordinate point for our y2 and x2. So we will have 2 over 0 minus, and then we will grab a new color and use our second point. So we'll have negative 2 and negative 2. When we do the numerator, a minus a negative is the same as adding a positive, and that's true in the denominator too. Minus a negative is the same as adding a positive. So we have 2 plus 2 in our numerator, which is 4, and then we have 0 plus 2, which is 2. When we simplify this fraction down, we will get 4 divided by 2 is the whole number 2, or for the purposes of slope, we could represent that as 2 over 1. And we can double check that by looking at our graph, right? We have 2 rise over 1 run. So if we start at a point and we rise 2 and go over run 1, rise 2, run 1, it does match the graph. So we have done our math correctly here. But this slope does not match the slope in answer choice A. So answer choice A is incorrect. Answer choice B says graph B is of a function with a different slope and the same interception point. Well, let's take a look at that same interception point. Here it's saying that we intercept the y-axis at y equals negative 1. But here we intercept the y-axis at y equals positive 2. So they don't have the same interception point, and that makes B incorrect. For answer choice C, they're giving us a function and saying it has a different slope, but again the same interception point. When here the interception point is listed to be negative 1, not positive 2. So again, C is incorrect, and by process of elimination, answer choice D is our correct answer. At that point, you can mark D and move on with the rest of the test, but for the sake of the video, I'll go back and show you why D is correct. Answer choice D says graph D is of a function with the same slope and a different interception point with the y-axis. The different interception point is correct because it seems to be intercepting the y-axis somewhere down here, maybe around negative 4 or negative 5. When over here, in our original function, it intercepted at y equals positive 2. So that much is correct. But we're looking for it to have the same slope as well. There's two different ways we could do this. One, since we already found our slope and we know our rise over run, we could check on the graph here, start at a point, rise 2, run 1, rise 2, run 1, and see that the slope is the same and know that answer choice D is correct and move on. However, if you wanted to be absolutely sure, we could pick two points and then plug them in to our y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1 function. So let's pick two points. I'll pick 3 comma 1 and then I will pick 1 comma negative 3. And we will set those up in our y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Let's use this first coordinate point as our x2 and y2. So we will have 1 over 3 minus our second set of coordinates of minus, or excuse me, negative 3 and a positive 1. In our numerator, subtracting a negative is the same as adding a positive. 1 plus 3 will give us 4, and then 3 minus 1 will give us 2. When we simplify, 4 divided by 2 will give us 2, making both of these functions have the same slope of m equals 2 and making d our correct answer.